Welcome back. So in this video, we are going to talk about Elastic Beanstalk. And if you have, uh, uh, have you uh, like read that story, Jack and the Giants or something like that, where they throw out some beans outside in the morning, it's all the way up in the clouds. Uh, Beanstalk is uh, kind of exactly just like that. It is for people who have no idea how to you know work in AWS uh, most like developers they know code but they they are not very good at uh, uh, creating environments and all that so that's for uh, that's the beanstalk and basically the idea is you're a developer you have a code but you don't know what resources to uh, allocate to them um, on your home computer or laptop you just have install the program and you run the code there's a compiler it compiles gives you the output right so, but how to create it uh, in a uh, AWS environment? The other example, if you want to, you know, let uh, further, you know, <clears throat> uh, clarify it. Some of us, we know which hardware we want. We go buy it off either Amazon, Newegg, or we go to micro center, like walk into a store, buy our specific processor, motherboard, RAM, and we assemble that computer. And some, um, some of us, they say, hey, okay, I need a very powerful computer for graphic designing. I'm gonna either buy an Apple or I'm gonna go and buy, uh, you know, search online and the fastest, most powerful available. I'm gonna just buy it that uh, my budget allows. So Beanstack, you're buying that laptop, the fastest available the budget allows so in this case you will basically just upload your code so the theory is you upload your code AWS looks at that code sees what needed and provision only those things how easy is that so let's get started I'm gonna go click on um, the services and elastic beanstalk is right here under compute So we have environment and applications. I'm gonna create an application probably. So load balancer, they do uh, incur charges. I need to remove the, my load balancer. So application name, I'm gonna name it uh, WordPress because that's what we've been doing. Platform, we know WordPress is with the PHP. And the other one was MySQL database. So we're gonna go this one, sample application or upload your code. So if you were to go and upload your code, you would file a file and you know, it will read the file, see what code is. So if it wasn't PHP, it was uh, Python uh, right there. Or it was something else they have Java and scripting as well so it was something else it will read that code and according to that code it will deploy so in that case you may not have to you know um, <coughs> select the PHP because you are doing something else so that would be it but I'm gonna go with sample application because I'm selecting PHP so we'll see what uh, resources because it's simply we will not be able to see any application we don't have an application we will see the resources its provision for PHP environment let's go and create application you can see it's changing on the screen so create environment is starting using elastic beanstalk it's in uh, us uh, east one that's northern virginia data so it's creating this will take a few minutes there is a warning so i'm going to pause the video here uh, it hasn't done yet but i just wanted to quickly show you what's uh, that uh, step by step you can see that it's uh, provisioning all these things now imagine that somebody has to go and do it uh, manually so this environment uh, like uh, this uh, beanstalk is creating this environment for them and this person does not have to do it manually 
and this will be quite a few quite a lot of work to actually to know and do this or create all of these I'm gonna pause the video again so it take about maybe a one more minute and everything is successful under the recent events I believe it will list everything uh, yeah 50 so I can click on show all and I this is the whole list it started at 51 651 you can see all the way to 55 in four minutes it did everything imagine you have to do it manually uh, so this is a good way of you know keeping a note of what's uh, created and try to do it manually if somebody give it a shot there is a second page as well but if we go back uh, WordPress environment that we just created the health status is good the PHP uh, like uh, uh, it's PHP uh, I can upload and uh, deploy my code the application let's click in here and see what's uh, this one it's saying congratulations the application is now run, running and blah 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 so we can see a uh, what's new overview deploying using Amazon resources customizing let's see resources ah that's a help page so what's new overview these are all uh, pages uh, like so where is the application and WordPress let's click here okay right here I want to see what else is running so it's a web server oh it's a provisional web server all right so let's go to environment customizing the software and easy instance they're all help pages it's uh, we can see the configuration here under the configuration we know what the software is how many instances are running and the capacity load balancer there is one so let's go and check everything out we're gonna secure check the security and I, I believe there is no database yet so if I go let me actually open a new one I want to click here <clears throat> so easy to instances if we click on our EC2 we can see what's running so I have one running now if you remember uh, just a few videos back I deleted everything now this one you can see it, it's the name uh, it's T2 micro it's running let's see what else was there uh, instance capacity is load balancer let's go and check out the load balancer if there is a new load balancer there so I have this load balancer I I can't uh, when it was created created at January 5th so today is January 5th it was created at 652 so this is the new one I think I deleted the old one probably yeah I think uh, in the last video I deleted everything so let's go to the launch configuration see if there is something new in here yep there is a you can see it's a like let me make it bigger you can see five fifth six fifty two so a load bell uh, uh, a launch configuration has been uh, created as well as an auto scaling group there will be you can see right there again so it will spin four maximum so this is it load balancer security let's see if there is an, a new security group uh, security groups right there for 
and there is the new security groups right there elastic beanstalk right there these the, this is the default one we've been using so Im so imagine the power of this elastic beanstalk it did everything for us uh, it's not part of a VPC so there is no virtual private compute and right now it's just a testing and developing purpose um, let's see how we can get rid of it uh, I'm gonna pause the video here all right so uh, if you wanted to edit anything uh, we can do it from the configuration you can see configuration is orange and we have all the added buttons so for example you wanted to make more capacity you wanted to change the instance type you know all that so we're gonna uh, leave it right here so for that uh, uh, cancel and actions we can uh, terminate so there are a few options that you can uh, I'm interested in terminating I um, I don't know uh, this is enough for uh, the learning purpose so let me show you how to get back in here one more time you'll go to your services elastic mean stock is under the compute right there and then you will click on your and from the action we can terminate or you can go in and terminate from within the app from the within the app itself and click on terminate so let's go to environments and click here and terminate so right now it's terminate in environment to be terminated and that was going to be done wordpress dot env so i'll copy paste it here terminate since it's a big thing like uh, getting rid of everything and so they detect that it could be something important uh, un, uh, recoverable, so that's why they want you to type in when some you're about to do something uh, that may not be recoverable it's gonna terminate I'm gonna pause the video here because I want to show you go back and show you that all the resources that it had provision are have been you know removed as well all right, so it came to this screen. Uh, I believe it's been terminated. Uh, there was a other screen uh, with the events. If I click on this one, the platform terminated. Environment name is terminated now. I can uh, click on actions and swap or restore terminated events, or I can delete application. I'm gonna delete the application. WordPress. Should I go and check if uh, it's been so? Now I have no applications. If I click here, nothing is happening. So I'm gonna go back to the EC2 environment. I have no running instances. You can check. Everything is gone. And if I click here. There's only WordPress environment that's being terminated at the, it's terminated so it will be gone soon we go to our security groups if you remember security groups there is no uh, the other two security groups they are gone the, what else we had a load balancer if we go to load balancer you can see that load balancer is gone as well and if we go to launch configuration it had a uh, uh, to launch up to four everything is gone so that's why I always do the proper to go the proper way to delete because uh, then it can remove everything properly and you don't incur any charges so don't just make notes and like mental notes and do it uh, manually uh, great uh, we learned something new I'm gonna wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one